Hey guys, Mike with TV Parts today. Uh, we're gonna be removing the boards out of a Sony KDL-46EX710. Uh, we're just gonna be removing the boards out of this unit, uh, taking the back off of it. Uh, as always, if you need to order anything or have any questions or comments, be sure to give us a call at 1-800-203-7484 and let's get into it. All right, here we have the backside of our Sony units. Uh, first order of business is gonna be to remove all the screws. We've got some going up the side here. A uh, few down here at the bottom, here and there. Looks like two of them here, two here. And then we've got four more going down the opposite side. Um, there's also, it looks like one regular screw there. So what we're gonna do is just get these screws removed and then whenever we start to take the back off, we're gonna be very careful just in case we have any connections. Next step, kind of feel around, see where it has some give on it. Make sure that you don't have any other screws connected to it. Feels like it might be a little tight on this side here. Taking another gander. Looks like we should be able to get this up relatively easily. Feel around a bit. Yeah, looks like this is gonna be pretty simple. Let's start here down at the bottom where it actually has some more give. And you can feel those clips lifting up around the frame. Aha, this is why we're gentle. There's a screw right here kind of camouflaged in. So let's get that guy removed. We might still run into a couple of those along the way here. Shimmy up the side. You can feel it popping up there. Go down this side and hear those clips coming right off. All right, I'm gonna take a gander. Excellent, it does not look like there's anything connected to the back of this housing. So at this point, just be very gentle. We still got clips up here at the top. They should just remove free very easily. There we go. All right, first things first, we're gonna work with this power supply. Uh, just take note, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six cables to get removed, and then just a handful of screws on the outside. And taking a look, it looks like all these are gonna be the same kind of uh, pinch with your thumb on the uh, lever and pull out kind of situation here. Uh, these guys here, we're just gonna pinch and they're gonna come straight up out of the board there. Pinch it with your thumbnail to release that latch and that comes out just so, like so. This guy's the same way, pinch it, pull it on up. Same with these two on the side, pinch it, pull up, Pinch, pull up. These guys here, same situation, only we're gonna be pulling out instead of up off of the board. Just pinch on that middle part to release the latch. Same with this one, pull that straight out. And if your cabling is attached to this board, like you see here with this little hook, you can just shimmy that out of there to get it out of your way. And if you need to, you can remove any of this tape around the edges here. So, let's get these screws out. With everything disconnected and removed, we should be able to lift up, just be gentle in case it's got any adhesive. Does not feel like it does. And there we go. That's our power supply. All right, moving on to this T-Con. We've got this uh, housing here, this plastic piece. This just lifts straight up and off. The screws that were holding it into place were actually drilled into the back of the uh, housing of the television itself. Uh, take a look at the T-Con here. It's got a metal plate and it's got two strips of foil tape down here holding it into place and this other metal plate on top of that. To make your life a lot easier, we're gonna remove this first and then we can work on getting this removed. Uh, one thing to take note of as well is this cable going from speaker to speaker on either side. If we remove these strips of tape, we can get this cabling out of the way and give us a little bit more wiggle room to get this plate off of here. So let's do that first. Let's lift up this tape, peel it back out of the way. Do it on this side as well. Peel it back, get that cable out of the way. And now we are in business. We should be able to just get this straight out of here. If need be, there's uh, more tape holding the cable down. If you need to, just remove that and you'll have even more wiggle room. Uh, looks like we've got a 
handful of screws on top here and then two more down here actually holding it to the uh, plastic frame down here at the base. So let's get those out of here. Now that those are out of the way, this plate should lift up relatively easy. There we go. That whole piece will just come up with it here. All right. And let's sit this off to the side here. Now, we can see the strips that I was talking about here on the top. If you want, just get underneath. Be very careful because I believe the ribbon cables at the bottom are coming up underneath of this. So let's just peel up the sides of this foil tape and get that peeled back very gently. As you can see, it's exposing the ribbon cable underneath. Do the same on this side. Just peel up that foil tape just a little bit at a time. And it should come off there very easily. There we go. Now that we have that, let's focus on getting these removed first. This clip is going to be a pinch and pull out. You might get some tape lifted up off of the back of this, that way you can have some wiggle room to work with the uh, cabling here. Pinch it, pull that straight out. This guy here, it's another LVDS. Pinch it on the sides and pull it straight out away from you. There we go, got that walked out of there. And now we've just got a handful of screws. Remember, like I said, this whole piece is gonna probably come up with it, so be very careful. Uh, there should be some adhesive holding it down into place. Uh, once we get these screws removed, we should be able to get this lifted up just enough and separated to where we can get a hold of these ribbon cables. All right, we've got those removed. If you want, you can press down on this board and that should lift right off of it. Be careful because all the screws are removed at this point. We just wanna flip up these flaps with our fingernails and pull these ribbon cables out. You might hold the board in place. There we have it, a little more complicated than usual, but nothing you can't handle, I believe in you. Uh, we do have these little squares of adhesive, that was what was holding that metal plate on top of it. Lifting this up, no more adhesive on the back, just some spacers it looks like. And there we have our T-Con. And here we have our main board. Uh, take a look at this guy, we've got just an LVDS here a few plugs down through here, and then we've got some screws holding it into place. Uh, this housing here, uh, once we get these screws lifted up, it'll probably pop off on its own. You'd probably be good to just shimmy it on off now, but just to be safe, let's get these screws removed first uh, before we do that. Uh, as far as these clips go, this is an LVDS. As usual, pinch it on the sides, pull it out. This one you might need to walk out just a little bit. There we go, just be gentle with it. This next one, this one's gonna have a clip on it, you're just gonna to wanna to pinch down and pull that straight up out of there. Same with this guy. Pull straight out. This guy here, pinch it, pull it. This guy here, he's got like a little latch on the top, but you can get it. Pinch it and pull that cord straight out of there. And now we've just got a handful of screws. Let's get those. And there we have it. As you can see, this comes off fairly easily. There is no adhesive on the back. And that's our main board. So that was it, uh, pretty simple stuff as usual. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you do subscribe to our channel, your first order will qualify for 20% off your first order. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook for exclusive promo codes.